Hello, and thank you for choosing Patera's VOIP home phone service. As part of our ongoing commitment to customer service, we would like to welcome you to the Patera University tutorial video for the VOIP ATA installation for your new home phone. Do not be afraid to use the pause button to slow the tutorial down at any time. Let's get started. By now you should have received a Cisco ATA with router device like the one pictured here. This is the device that will make your Patera VOIP phone system operational. This is the Cisco router that is recommended by Patera for internet and VOIP customer solutions. The Cisco line of routers have proven to be the most reliable when integrated into our network. If you own another brand of router, it's alright. Most routers have the same ports on the back as the Cisco and should work just fine. This is what a typical Patera internet setup looks like. Although the power strip and the power injector are usually somewhere on the floor, with the router being placed on a desk or cabinet. Let's examine the setup and how it should change when adding the VOIP ATA adapter. The gray or beige wire comes into your home from the radio antenna that was mounted outside of your home during the initial internet installation. That gray wire plugs into the PoE power injector which supplies power to the radio and passes data to your router. The green wire then comes from the PoE power injector and connects to the internet port on your router. In this close-up of the PoE power injector, you will see that the gray cable is plugged into the PoE side of the power injector and that the green wire is plugged into the LAN side of the power injector. The green wire then connects to the internet port on your router. At this point, please unplug the green wire from your internet port on your router. Then plug the power cable into your Cisco ATA phone adapter and plug the green cable that you just unplugged from your router into the internet port on the VOIP ATA device like this. Next, take the supplied blue cable that came with the Cisco VOIP ATA device and plug one end into the ethernet port on the back of the ATA device. Take the other end of that blue cable and plug it into the internet port of your router like this. Now the original internet setup that you had before installing the ATA device should look exactly like this. Connecting a phone or wireless base station to your new Patera VOIP ATA device is really simple. Just plug your phone or base station into the phone 1 port on the back of the ATA device. If you would prefer to make the phone wall jacks throughout your home work with your new VOIP phone system, you will need to follow a few more steps. First, locate your telephone network interface on the outside of your home. It should look something like this. Next, locate the customer access screw and using a screwdriver, undo the screw and open the cover on the box. The inside of the network box should look similar to this. Locate the phone plugs within the box and unplug them. Doing this will prevent stray voltage from entering your home and damaging your VOIP phone system. Be sure to close the cover on the network interface box and tighten the screw to prevent water from damaging any wiring. Next, take any standard phone cable and plug one end into the Phone 1 port on the back of the ATA device. Then plug the other end into any wall jack in your home. This should make all of your internal home jacks work with your new Patera VOIP phone system. However, depending on how the internal phone wiring of your home is done, we cannot guarantee that all wall jacks will work properly. This concludes this tutorial on connecting your Cisco VOIP ATA device 
for use with your new Patera VOIP home phone service. Thank you for watching and please do not hesitate to call our office if you are still experiencing problems.